All right, let's say you have a speech coming up for work, with a client, for school, doesn't matter, right? Maybe you're running for president, you know? Who knows, right? How do you prepare for the speech? You wanna do three things, right? The first thing is practice the environment, right? What does that mean? If you're gonna be speaking to a large audience, when you're practicing your speech, picture a large audience, right? If you're gonna be in a stadium, picture you're in a stadium. If you're gonna be in an office, envision you're in an office. Walk around like you're in an office. If you, if you have to be restricted to a podium, then practice as if you're in a podium, right? So whatever your environment is, practice that environment. You dig? Two, warm up your body with exercises, right? Before any big speech, kind of like any sport, right? Before you go out there to play basketball, you have shoot around, right? You have to stretch, warm up, right? Same thing with speeches. People don't really realize this, right? Because it's about energy. It's about that energy you have prior to any speech. So you want to get that energy ready before the speech by practicing, by doing different types of exercises, right? So one exercise that I love doing before any speech, I call this the ADD drill, right? It sounds the way it sounds, right? ADD drill. It's basically like this. You get a random topic, and you have to talk about that topic for a certain amount of time. Freestyle, improvising, without any preparation. Non-stop, right? So for example, the topic could be something such as, talk about apples, right? For 15 minutes, right? What, so what is the purpose of that, right? So let me just do it right now, right? Okay, I'll do it right now, right? I'll go through the ADD drill. So Ian, talk about apples. Oh my God, I love apples, dude. I was walking down the street this one time, and this apple, this apple dropped in my head, right? And I picked it up, I'm like, a green apple? How lucky is that? Right, so I picked up the apple, and I had a bite. And oh my God, it was so juicy. You have no idea how juicy this apple was. But do you know why it was juicy? Because it took me back to my childhood. As a kid, I used to walk down the road with my uncle, and we would go down to this apple tree. And we'll sit down by the apple tree, talk for hours and hours about, about his, his life. He told me stories about his childhood, right? So this apple hitting me on the head brought me back to my childhood. I loved my childhood as a kid. I was born in Africa, I had dreams of coming to America, right? So anyway, this is what, what just happened, all right? I began by talking about an apple, but I was able to transition from the apple to a totally different topic, right? <laughs> And I kept on talking about that topic that I, that I know about. I mean, everything in that story was made up, but you get, get the idea there, right? I was able to transition, right? So that exercise is great for warming up how to transition from any topic to any topic. And more specifically, it helps with being able to get the most boring topic in the world and make it sound exciting, enticing, persuasive, right? I was just talking about apples, right? But I try to make it seem exciting, right? Because here's the, here's the magic bullet right here, right? Write this down, right? If you, if you can talk about anything in the world, any random topic, and make it sound exciting, you have mastered public speaking. What does that mean, right? Let me say it again. If you can get any random topic in the world and make, it, make that topic sound exciting, you could be talking about the air, you could be talking about watching paint dry, Right? But if you make it seem like the best thing in the world, right, you become a better public speaker because you realize public speaking, right, going back to what I said earlier, it's not about what you say, it's how you say it. Right? So by picking a random topic, you're practicing how you say it. Right? Because when I was talking about apples, it was all about me gesturing and acting that out. Right? The apple dropped in my head, I had to pick it up, it took me back to my childhood. I'm basically kind of... Uh, Kind of like how a monkey swings from one, one monkey branch to the other monkey branch, right? I'm basically jumping from one topic to the next topic to the next topic, right? I'm learning how to connect the dots, right? A second exercise I love, right, is basically getting one totally random topic and a second totally random topic and trying to jump from that topic to this topic in, in 60 seconds, right? So somebody will pay something such as, talk about uh, a Mercedes Benz and going to the moon, right? And you have 60 seconds to transition from this topic to the other topic, right? This is an ex exercise you can do, right? 
So these different things warm you up to get the blood flowing, the blood boiling, right? So when you go out there on stage, you have that mojo, you have that rap, right? It's like you've been in the gym taking jump shots all, all day, right? So when the time the actual game comes there, right? Whether you're trying to give a speech where it's impromptu or what, whether you're doing something else, right? Everything is flowing freely, naturally, effortlessly.